What is up, Watch Fam? Happy Wednesday. Today, we've got a special TNH episode for you. I am Christian from Theo and Harris. And I'm Anna from Theo and Harris. And it's almost 2019, so we're going to do a Theo and Harris State of the Union. Let's do it. <laughs> All right, before we get into the State of the Union, a quick wristwatch check. What are you wearing, Anna? I am wearing my personal Universal Genève pull router. Uh, you guys have all seen it. It's yeah. uh, infamous. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, it was a watch that you just posted on Instagram the other day. You said yeah. uh, you will not retire from a career in watches until you become synonymous with Universal Genève's pull router. I will not rest. I think that is a very good goal. It's my mission. You guys should follow Anna at uh, Anna Griffin C. She makes all the things happen. <laughs> <laughs> what are you wearing? Uh, I am wearing a Rolex reference 1007, I believe. Uh, beautiful, solid gold case. Uh, unpolished. The, 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 the case condition is incredible. Not only are, are the lugs super sharp, but as you can kind of tell, mm. the original grain on the finishing on the lugs there is, is oh, present. And the dial is a matching gold mosaic. It's an incredible watch. Uh, if you like uh, 34 millimeter watches and you enter yellow gold, this is perfect. Um, it is available in the Theo and Harris watch shop along with a lot of other watches in different price points. Some things that are a little bit more affordable, some things that are a little bit less affordable. Um, <laughs> but uh, that should bring us into the State of the Union, right? Um, mm -hmm. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to talk about retail for a second. Yeah. And I want to give you the, the, the floor here to talk about kind of the big topic. Retail, I'll be quick. Uh, started Theo and Harris four years ago with the intention not of selling incredible vintage watches. That was not the goal. Um, Theo and Harris initially was that the vision was let me provide a vintage alternative to Daniel Wellington to yeah. MVMT. Right. That meant uh, watches from 100 to 300 dollars that, uh, that that young people could buy and, and start their career in vintage watches. Of course, that presented a whole host of problems. Foremost, uh, in the 100 to 300 dollar price point in vintage, they are considerably unreliable. You know, there were yes. watches that cost yes. more to service than their value. Um, the margins on them were, were anywhere between ten and thirty-five dollars, which Woo! you could not make a career off of. Um, <laughs> you need to buy watches that you could still make your ten percent, but watches that you acquire at three thousand. That's how you know you can build a business. Mm. I didn't realize that. Long story short, four years later, Theo and Harris today, going into twenty nineteen, is much larger than I ever would have thought um, in a retail kind of point of view. I have a dream job in that I get to curate a collection every week for you guys, specifically based in Rolex, Omega, and Tudor, some other brands as well. Um, I am so proud of the Theo Harris Watch Shop. I've seen some incredible things come and go. Um, I've had the opportunity to own and to offer and to hold watches that I probably never would have. And now that the company has expanded and we've hired my mom as the office manager and we've hired, you know, we have six employees now. I really have the opportunity to focus on the watches themselves, right? Um, yeah, I'm in the videos and yeah, I give you my input, but you're the boss of your territory. My mom's the boss of her territory. Aaron's the boss of his territory and Michael's the boss of his, you know? Um, I've been able to kind of refine my job to yes, overseeing everything, but to dedicate myself to watches. And that's why now the TNH Watch Shop is stronger than ever because I can devote my full attention to you guys and answering your questions yeah. and finding these incredible pieces. So that's the that's the four year skinny on how what you know, what TNH is now. As far as 2019 ambitions, honestly, um, maybe wide enough variety a little bit to go a little bit into a higher end, um, but not even so much. I'm so happy where the watch shop is right now. I love yeah. the value that it brings. Um, I love the watches we get to source. They're watches that I'm very passionate about. And because you've been working with, with a lot of the same watches for so long, you you know what to look for. You know when they're good. You know, like you oh, have yeah. so such a strong familiarity with all of these now, specific yeah. pieces that yeah. like, it just seemingly, because uh, I watch you do this every day, yeah. it comes so naturally to yeah. you. Yeah, uh, so that's, that's, that's retail. You guys know more about retail than you know about the other part of our business mm -hmm. and the other part of our business and I'll give you a short intro is content you know and, and and the whole world around it so from the beginning the whole purpose of starting our content was just to be a helpful supplement to the shop right, right. to provide trust to show people that right. we know what we're talking about and to be entertaining right and it's sometimes it's not always a matter of making money it's just not losing it you know what is up watch geeks welcome to episode 31 of ask TNH what is up watch geeks welcome to our second 
video series. This one's called Watch People and Wine. Seamaster is just so versatile. I don't know, I feel like the price point, although it's rising, is just still so valuable. What we do now is, is a new series. It's, uh, it's a reissue of a series we used to do called Liquor Run. Thank you guys so much for watching Liquor Run. Uh, this is actually our best friend today, our little candle. Yes. It got too late on a Friday and we just had to record this thing. So uh, here we are. What is up, Watch Fam? I'm Anna from Theo and Harris, and welcome to In the Metal. What is up, Watch Fam, and welcome to Liquor Run. I am Christian from Theo and Harris, and you are Roly from Theo and Harris. What is up, Watch Fam? Happy Friday, and welcome to Liquor Run. I am Christian from Theo and Harris, and you are Roly from Theo and Harris. So from the beginning, we're working with two main components, which is education and entertainment. Right. And so from the beginning, um, while it's definitely been a collaboration between you and I, um, my job is to figure out how do I bring the best content that people want to see that mm -hmm. is both educational and informative. Mm -hmm. And we have done that in a variety of ways. There are so many hundreds and hundreds, thousands, millions of ways you can do that. And we've had a lot of successes. You know, we have more than 2 million minutes watched on YouTube a month. We have so many thousands of viewers that watch every video. We have a really dedicated and interactive group of people that are super passionate about what we're talking about yeah. and really engage. You know, we've had series that we didn't think would take off like Ask TNH yeah. that are so popular and so exciting and people love to tune in and they love to participate. Yep. And that just shows how, you know, the, the series where fans actually get to talk to you, right. that's the one that does, you know, one of the best. Yep. And we didn't expect that. Right. And, you know, we've had some series that have not been successful. Right. We've had one-offs that we thought were going to take off that just didn't. Right. But that's kind of just how the game is. Right. So we have trial and error and we've had three years of the channel. Three I think years. Three to three and a half years. Yep. And 2018 was another year of trial and error for yeah. content, and um, you know we, we've learned from that, and so we have some clear objectives for 2019. And, yeah, I think um, that the reason that we've had uh, failures, for the same reason we've had successes, um, but failures as well, is because we are focused on growth. Um, this is not, a, you know, a side project for our, for me or for you or for anyone at right. TNH. This is this is something we take very very seriously. Yeah, it's my livelihood. It's our livelihood. It's our career. You know, at least for the time being. Um, so growth is key. Uh, we have to push the boundaries. We have to do things you are go both going to like and not like. You know, the what is new can be scary, and what is yep. new can be wrong, and it can be right. But the only way we're going to find out what is going to work is if we try new things. Exactly. Um, so yeah, it sucks when we you know we're excited about a video that we release on a Wednesday and it does poorly, and you guys hate it. That sucks. It feels like shit. Yeah. Because you know, we because we tried. You know. Sure. But uh, ultimately you learn something. And ultimately it's um, not for us. We do it because we love it, right. right? But it's for you guys. Right. And what we're sort of promising for 2019 yep. is so focused on um, how do we deliver the best quality stuff, the best recommendations, the best yep. um, content for you guys. Yep. And so in my in my eyes, there are like three like objectives. Yep. And the first one is specifically about um, the topics we're doing, refocusing and defining the context. Mm -hmm. Right, so our passion and the reason we're all here is watches. And for a while we've been doing sort of tangential videos, mm -hmm. sort of like, you know, going like around the- Testing the water. Exactly. Um, but I think it's time to really refocus. Let's get back to the fundamental questions. Let's answer some mm -hmm. in a really entertaining, but also super informative way, yeah. uh, basic questions that people don't have the answers to act like right. readily online. Right. You know, for people that are just getting into watches or know they like them, but don't know how to start or even have all the information, but just like want to watch an entertaining video about right. it. So so we're gonna go back to watches at their base and answer some super fundamental questions, but at the same time, there are other things that being interested in watches leads you to. Right. Right? It's the world of design, it's the yeah. world of style and fashion luxury and craftsmanship. craftsmanship. Exactly. Ah. <laughs> and luxury and, and you know, it's it's a lifestyle and yeah. it can be. And we want to be able to provide a context around yeah. watches to make it fit into your life in a way that makes sense yeah. and in a way that, uh, that that works for you guys. And that said, everything that we've built over the last three years um, has had tremendous impact on our on our retail business. Right. Um, retail is a success because we create content, right? Because we spend thousands of dollars a month and hours upon hours upon hours a week um, yeah. making free content for you guys to watch. And of course our watches are featured and that's, you know, that's how we've monetized. We, I mean, we've made this into a business. It's a business. Right? Um, but we've realized for a couple of years, but only really taken action since November um, on taking on partners, on right. people uh, who are going to advertise through Theo and Harris. Now, what does that mean? It can mean a thousand things. Um, where there are viewers, there is money to be made, 
right? And there are a million ways to go about generating ad revenue. Um, I think most of them are bad, right? Most of them um, undermine the like legitimacy of your voice, your credibility, 100%. Um, which is something that we're very focused on keeping for a yeah. million reasons. Um, one, because if we lose our credibility, then the, the channel goes down, the shop goes down, and something else. So great for a four thousand dollar check from some random company, we lost the whole business. It makes no sense, right? It makes it makes no sense. We're not, uh, we're you know, we're young. We don't have tremendous bills. We're not penny wise and dollar foolish. Um, it's 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 not how we play. And we value our audience. You know, like we would never right, like sell out to like to a small paycheck because we have we have a purpose and I get that and I get that that, but once you go into how we feel how much we love you guys it can become kind of debatable of course we know that but just if you want to go hard you want to go hard ass dollars and cents it doesn't make us it doesn't make any sense for us to take money from someone and endorse something we don't believe in it just doesn't make any sense just business right fuck hard tax you don't have to trust that we're good people you don't have to trust that we're doing the right thing with advertising Uh, it just makes sense Right. Right. Of course, we do care about our audience. I do want to put you in the right pair of loafers. I do want to put you in the right shirt. Or, drink the or right scotch. Drink the right scotch. It, it, it's fun for me. Right. right. My interests don't, aren't confined to watches. Watches are my primary interest. But I, I'm so passionate about so many other things. I, I built a collection of corduroys this summer. Mm-hmm. And this Very winter. passionate about corduroys. Um, yeah, a lot of these things. And uh, is it so wrong for Polo, for instance, to say, "Hey, Christian and Theo and Harris, um, obviously you, you've got a real passion for corduroys." Next, you know, fall winter, let's do let's do a project together. Let's let's talk about corduroys. Let's get your followers in our corduroys. This is why because yeah. of their quality, because of our variety, because of our fits, yada yada yada. Yeah. And if I believe in polo corduroys, which I do, because I have purchased hundreds of dollars in them in the past, with them in the past, it only makes sense for me to do the partnership. Yeah. It only makes sense. Mm-hmm. So yeah, you guys are going to see a lot of new brands on Theo and Harris over the course of the next year and hopefully indefinitely. Mm-hmm. Um, and I, I, ideally, I'd like them to be long-term partnerships. Yeah. I would like to build partnerships with brands that we can continue doing. Mm-hmm. Um, obviously, it's much harder to find great brands every week. You know, it'd be great. And I think we will succeed in finding some larger brands that we can say, hey, I love these guys and I am so comfortable connecting you with them. Um, yeah. Bottom line is, Theo and Harris is growing. It's a very different business than, than what we set out uh, for it to be. We've made a thousand mistakes along the way um, in At things least. that I've worn, <laughs> in things that I've said, in things that uh, you've yeah. edited, in things that uh, yeah. in, in watch descriptions. Sometimes the millimeters are wrong. You know, it shit fucking happens. Um, but never once. And make this very clear. Never once have we, Anna, myself, or anyone, uh, made a mistake here at Theo and Harris that they weren't held accountable for. That's you probably know if there's one thing you know if I died tomorrow that's probably the that's probably one of the only things I'd like to be remembered for is accountability yeah. I think it's incredibly important to build personal relationships and in business and you guys may not know me like that because you don't work with me or you don't work for me but that is my biggest thing and if you up and if you work for me I don't really care about the mess up but if you make an excuse if you're not accountable now you're borderline dead to me until you can take accountability <laughs> right am I, am I yeah lying? no it's 100% true I, I don't think that an employee has ever made a mistake so grave that I've been upset to the degree as I am regularly if you're not accountable yeah. right so that's the same standard that I hold myself to and this company to yeah. is accountability mistakes are always going to happen it's just, it's just how it is. It's part of life. It's you part know? of life. And business. It's part of life and business. But we will always be accountable for any mistakes. And we are always going to do our absolute best yeah. uh, to, one, minimize any mistakes. And two, introduce you now to brands um, in the most honest way. Yeah. Right? In With, with your best interest in mind. And of yeah. course, to help the Theo and Harris company grow. Because like I said, this is our livelihood. We've dedicated ourselves to this company since college. Right? It, it can't stay the same. It can't shrink. It mm-hmm. can't. I know people, a lot of TNH fans, and, and I love them for this. They've been there since day one, really. They've been Theo and Harris followers since we've had a thousand followers on Instagram. And they are nostalgic about the old Theo and Harris when I used to, you know, just get on a camera and say whatever I wanted and kind of be nasty and irreverent. And yeah, sometimes that's fun, but it's not always the right thing to do. You know, it, it, you get older and you mature, and I'm certainly not mature yet, but I'm getting there. It's a long journey. Um, but uh, the bottom line is, things aren't always going to be the way that they were. It's 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 bad. It's a bad thing. We've got to grow. 
we've got to improve the company. We have to make you more uh, powerful within your position. Yep. We have to, you know, expand our audiences to different countries and different demographics. Uh, we have to create better content. Yep. Um, maybe not as high of frequency, but a, but a better quality. Better story. Better, yeah, better story. Yep. Uh, board production, and that's going to cost me a fortune. It's going to cost Theo and Harris a fortune to do, but I'm prepared to do that not because it, it yields an immediate return, because believe me, it does not. Uh, many months, my expenses for video production are disproportionate right in sales didn't necessarily go up but video production costs go up you know I don't really care it, it's, a, it's a net net game it's an end game I want Theo and Harris to be a, at a certain place in a year when we have the State of the Union next year um, and uh, and yeah it's a long it's a long winding journey with a lot of ups and a lot of downs uh, but if you guys are going to be with us um, we would love to have you that's that's yeah, my spiel. Exactly. And that brings me to two final things I have. I just want to say we want your input, no, right? We're doing constantly. this with you guys and for you and we've all grown together. Doesn't matter how long you've been a fan. If this is your first video, welcome. Tell us what you want to see. You know? you know, we we don't we don't get our reaction only from our gut. If we produced it and we released it, the odds are 90 95% chance that we liked it. But right. we only get our response and know how to pivot based on your reaction. And it ultimately doesn't matter unless you guys it's something you want to have and you right. want to see new value because right. that's really what what we're aiming to do so let us know you know leave us honest criticism and and suggestions and comments and, and engage with us exactly be constructive uh, and 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 we will be receptive yeah you know and then one final thing um in remembrance of where we started and to further that um i have a gift for this? Christian, um, produced by our lovely friends from Art of Horology, who uh, wanted to do this uh, for this special episode. Oh, Jesus. Um, Christian will now open this on camera and he's never seen it. All day long. I know. I usually just use brute force to open up our packages. Wow, that's awesome. So, 1601. Well, and there is a, this, there's a special significance to the time and the date. It is uh, two, uh, two, uh, one, two, two, twelve, two, twelve. Is that in the fifteen? Two, twelve, fifteen. At the year that we started, the day we started, the day, February twelfth. Yeah, it's the month, the day, and the date that we started. And no cyclops. And no cyclops. Ah, I love it, guys. Thank you so much for this. I'm so Show happy. Them again. <laughs> this is amazing. Thank you so much. Two twelve yeah. fifteen, and and two days later, the next day we were on Hodinky. Yeah. That was our that was our uh, our debut. Thank you guys so much. Thanks um, for watching, guys. I love all of you guys. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Isn't that great? Mwah.